Hey everyone, so today we're going to create a simple Kotlin Spring application and we're going to push this to Heroku so it's running in the cloud. So a few prerequisites, you're going to need a Heroku account and you're going to need a GitHub account. And once you have that set up, we can get started. So we're going to head over to start.spring.io to initialize our Spring application. And I'm going to use Kotlin for this, so I'm clicking on Kotlin here but the same steps should be used for a Java or a Groovy application. The only thing that's going to change is the code I'm going to write in the controller. I'm going to leave all of these as a default, except I'm just going to add one dependency, which is web. We're going to need this to expose our API. So now that I've added that one dependency, Spring Web, we're going to generate this project. It's downloaded this file, demo.zip, and we're going to move that to the desktop. So we're going to move downloads demo.zip and we're going to move that just to the desktop. So now that we have this demo.zip here, we can just open it up, extract it, and we're going to open this in IntelliJ now. So I'm using all these shortcuts, but you can just open IntelliJ and open this directory. So that took a minute, but now our project is open in IntelliJ. So I'm using IntelliJ as my IDE for editing my code and running my code as well, but you can use Eclipse or whatever other IDE you'd like to use. If you don't have a IDE yet, I definitely recommend IntelliJ IDEA. It's super good. So we're just going to run our application to make sure everything's working before we make any changes. So I'm going to hit run here. Inside this demo application main method. So our application runs successfully. We know there's no errors and all of our dependencies are there. So now we're going to create our controller to expose an API. And we're just going to call it hello world controller. So this is going to be a class. We're going to call it hello world controller. And we're going to add two annotations to this class. The first one is rest controller. So Spring knows that this class is a rest controller. And we're also going to add request mapping. So we can add an endpoint um, where the request will be served from. And we're just going to use forward slash hello world. So now we can create our method. We're just going to call it hello world. It's not going to take any parameters and it's going to return a string. And the string is just going to be hello world. And this function also needs an annotation and it's just called get mapping. And this just tells Spring that if anyone makes a get request, to hello world return this so this code is going to differ slightly depending if you're using java or some other jvm language um but i really like the simplicity of kotlin and how little code you have to write to get something working so now that we have this controller class written uh, we can rerun our application to make sure that this is working so now we can see our application is up and running we can go back to our browser and we can go to localhost 8080 forward slash hello world. And hello world is returned to us in the browser. So we can tell here that our API endpoint is working. When we visit hello world, uh, hello world is returned to us. So that's exactly what we want. So now that we have this application running locally, the next step is to push this to Heroku. There's a few different ways to do this. Um, you could do it using the Heroku command line tools. Um, but I think the nicest and simplest way to do this is to push your project to Git because it's good to have it there anyway and Heroku can fetch it from Git for us. So we're going to create our GitHub repository and we're just going to call it Kotlin Spring Hello World. And we could make it public or private. I'm just going to make it private. And this is going to give us this repository. 
So the important things here is git init and git remote add origin. And this is just going to point our project to this origin so we can push it there. So from here, we can say git init. This is going to initialize our project. And I'm going to paste that command that I got uh, to add the origin. So once I've done that, I can say git status. And I can add everything. I can commit all of this with a message that just says first commit. And now I'm just going to push all of this to GitHub using git push origin master. So now that that is pushed, we can go back to this GitHub repository. And if we refresh, we should get all of our code. And we do. So we can see that 21 seconds ago, we pushed everything up here. So now that this is on Git, we can now go to Heroku and fetch this application from GitHub and Heroku can run that straight away. So to do that, we're going to go to Heroku. We're going to create a new app. We're just going to call it Kotlin Spring Hello World. We can choose what region we want this to run in. I'm just going to use the default United States. We could create a pipeline, but for this, again, we're just going to go with the simplest possible. And now we're going to head over to the Deploy tab. So, well, I guess, first of all, this shows us how to use the Heroku CLI. But I like using Git, so I'm going to go over to Deploy. And Deployment Method, we're going to choose GitHub. And now this is already linked up to my uh, Git user. And I'm able to search for repositories here and deploy them straight away with one click. So I'm going to use my Kotlin Spring Hello World. I'm just going to search for that. And we can see this has found the repository that we created before. So I can connect that. And we can see that this is all connected now. And everything's working. There's some cool things we can do here. So this is getting more into continuous deployment, but we can enable automatic deploys. And this means that any time that master changes, um, that the master branch changes here in GitHub, this will be deployed in Heroku. Um, but for now, we just want to deploy the master branch. So we can do that with one click here. And this will take a minute. It's important not to refresh here or to change to any different link here. We just want to wait for this build to happen and for the deploy to happen. So that took about two minutes, but we can see that it was deployed to Peroku. And we can click this button to view it as it's already been deployed. And we can see that we're getting this error page because we haven't defined um, any endpoint here at the root. But we have at hello world. So if we go to the application forward slash hello world, we can see our hello world endpoint. So now this this endpoint now is visible to the entire internet. Anyone can visit this. So that's super cool. Um, and we can go back here to our application and look at overview. And we can see that we can see the history here of what happened. So it was deployed just now, the build succeeded, and all of that worked. So that is how to create a Kotlin application, push it to Git, and push it to Heroku all in the space of about 10 minutes. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments, and I'll see you next time.